and this is nothing to mess around with. We know that annually, on average, heat kills more people than any other weather phenomenon in the U.S. Now, there may be a time when you'll have a tornado could hit a metro area or something and throw those figures off, but normally heat is the biggest weather killer out there. During this heat, make sure to stay hydrated with plenty of water. If you start to get lightheaded, if you start to feel chills, if you, you know, if you just don't feel good, it's time to re respond right then. When running errands, make sure nobody is left in the car. Do not leave pets or small children in cars for any period of time. It can get deadly hot extremely quickly in a car. Running your air conditioner is unavoidable in this heat, but turning it up a degree or two can help to save energy. You want to use fans to your advantage at this point because that can give you the opportunity to raise the thermostat temperature a little bit higher and then you can use fans to create the wind chill effect over the body because it evaporates the moisture that's on your skin, makes you feel a little bit cooler. You want to make sure to block as much sunlight as possible by closing the blinds and curtains. A kind of a DIY solution that I think a lot of people probably get Amazon packages that come in the nice white and blue bubble wrap is it's a temporary solution but sometimes you can actually use a lot of that and put it in between your window setup to kind of stop and even slow that flow of heat coming from outside inside. Remember to check on your elderly friends and family during this heat wave and stay hydrated. Reporting in Omaha, Ariana Martinez, 3 News Now.